what is item and then what are the application fall under item and then why I should use the item. So let's understand one by one. So item is full form is the IT operation management which refers the set of process tools and technique used to manage optimize the IT infrastructure and operation of the organization. So basically using the item we can manage our IT infrastructure let's say that laptop desktop server uh, software we can manage using the item. Item includes the management of hardware software network and the data center as well as the process and procedures required to ensure the availability, performance and security of IT services. So it means that using the item we can manage our hardware software network and then uh, we can manage our process and procedures and then we can make sure that our infrastructure is always available in the performance condition and uh, comply with the security. Now under this item in the service now we have total six application. So first thing is the discovery. So you know that what is discovery, then event management, orchestration, cloud management, service mapping, and then operational intelligence. These are the six application which fall under item um, module. So item is a category or you can say that set of application under this item, these are the application fall under. Now that uh, if we talk about the item, the first very first topic is come up that the discovery. You know that basically discovery used to, um, you know, updating the CI, managing the CI and then update our CMDB table basically. So if you see here, the description is saying that this is the application helps in discovering and mapping the IT infrastructure and its dependency. It's automatically detect the configuration item and create comprehensive map of the IT environment. Basically, it create the CI and the CMDB table and it create the maps. So service mapping is the another, uh, you can say that uh, uh, top to bottom approach of the discovery. So this is ap application built upon the service now discovery and then provide a more details view of the dependency between the various component of the IT service. It helps in identifying the root cause of the issue and automate the resolution process. So basically service mapping is the part of the discovery which help us to see in more details with their relationship between their CI. Let's say that let's say that one server have multiple application and then multiple application have a uh, you know multiple process. All we can see using the service mapping. So under another application is the service now orchestration. The service now orchestration is help us to automate that. Let's say that if you want to add the user to that active directory if you want to remove the user from the active directory if you want to create the group under active directory all those stuffs uh, automation process can be done through the orchestration so so what it is saying that this is the application allows organization to automate routing it tasks so whatever routing task you have you can automate that using this orchestration even you can install the software um, in a particular server if you want uh, you can uh, you know uninstall any uh, any any software if you want using this orchestration what is the service now event mapping so basically event mapping is kind of uh, what you can say that a monitoring tool event management is nothing but a monitoring tool that help us to identify that anything is happening to that um, source media let's say that right now you have a hundred application originally invested your companies or um, already invested hundred companies now um, you suddenly if you want to you can't suddenly obsolete those application right so if you want to manage those application 100 application so you can use that service now event management so let's say that in any of these application there is some issue happen let's say that this pool it can send a uh, event to the service now and service now can monitoring that next application is the service now operational intelligence so this application provide advanced analytics and visual capability to help the organization inside into the IT operation. It leverage the machine learning algorithm to detect anomalies and predict the issue before the occur. So basically uh, operational intelligence can uh, you know, uh, do some intelligence before it happen, before it create an incident, it can do some analysis and then it can say that it can be, I mean, these kind of things can be happened to your server or 
system before it uh, incident occurred it can detect and give you a report kind of report that it can um, you can resolve before it can occur let's say that your system got 90 percent storage and it automatically detects that it's a 90 percent um, reached so you should resolve the issue before it server got crashed now then service now cloud management so this is the application provide a centralized view of the cloud infrastructure helps managing the cost compliance security and cloud resource it support multi cloud provider so basically using the service of cloud management you can manage that multiple cloud let's say that uh, in in your organization they are using aws azure and google cloud both three you can see holistically what are the cloud resources are using in, uh, without log into those application or without log into that cloud portal you can directly see all the details under this service now so these all are the six application we are going to talk about one by one in our upcoming class so till the point thank you very much have a great day